Thomas Schussel behind the goal. 40 odd games into the season and once again the Rockets find themselves in familiar territory. First place in the league. Key players were lost in the offseason. Just check out the Edmonton Oilers leading scorers. And a new coaching system was implemented. But still, the Rockets keep on winning. Third periods are usually our best period and you know that comes from experience from the players, you know, being in these tough situations before knowing how to handle those situations. So uh, definitely our experienced guys are are molding our younger players for the future. Here. Coming so close last year, like they they have that drive to, to want to complete what they what they couldn't last year. So they're definitely pushing you and like you can see it in just coming to the rink every day how determined they are to get better. Kelowna is the highest scoring team in the Western Conference and gets solid contributions from veteran Tyson Bailey who leads the league in scoring, sophomore Dylan Dubé and rookie Cole Lint. Seven players have at least 10 goals. The big losses in the offseason were on defense so perhaps the biggest surprise has been here. All the blue liners except Joe Gaddy had one year or less experience heading into the season and that is often a recipe for disaster but they've been solid if unspectacular, and the results speak for themselves. The systems we implemented this year was, you know, they're very advanced systems for the D, so they've worked really hard to um, kind of buy into that, that concept of being aggressive, not giving up lines, um, and, you know, always gapping. You know, it was a lot of work, but I think it shows, you know, how talented these, you know, our defensemen are. They've been working hard. We uh, Wade Redden out here working them with them every day, and, you know, they're going to take the next step even again. And I feel like they have come so far from the start so I think when playoffs come even if they don't have experience I feel like they'll be some of the top team in the league. Let's not forget the Rockets have a big target on them this season as the defending league champs they see their opponents a game on a consistent basis. You know it makes us a better hockey team we're certainly challenged every night yeah there's no easy nights for us everyone relishes playing us and it makes for exciting hockey. The players seem to have adjusted well to coach Ralph's tweaks. He's definitely had to adapt from coaching pros because they're a little bit more of men were still kind of kids, so we had to adapt to that, but I feel it's awesome. He won't get off the ice until he's talked to every player, and he's really become a big player's coach for us. It's part of my job, right? Make sure that they're playing at their best and, um, and they feel comfortable with, with everything going on around them. So if that's considered a player's coach, then absolutely. The Rockets haven't exactly been healthy this season, missing key players for stretches, notably Rourke Chartier. And they will have to do without number one goaltender Jackson Whistle for the next few weeks, maybe longer. Michael Herringer proved reliable in place of Whistle last season, so at least they have a solid backup. Obviously last year I think he closed out pretty much every series for us, so we definitely have confidence in him. And He's a pretty great goaltender so far. Anytime any player's out with an injury, you're concerned on you know, how long it's, that player's going to be out, you know, how quickly they'll be able to recover, and when they do come back, uh, where their game is going to be at. So, uh, you know, it's definitely a concern for us. Carter Hart and the Everett Silvertips have given the Rockets some fits this season, but they only have to play them once more this year. And travel down the stretch is pretty good. Only one more long bus ride to PG next month. If Kelowna can remain healthy, there's no reason they shouldn't be able to lock down first place in the West and keep home ice advantage throughout the playoffs there. And that's important as the Rockets have the second best home record in the league. We average pretty good attendance, close to 6,000 a night. So I mean, when they, when they get loud, it really helps you, gets behind you and pushes you. We've got a great fan base here. Like, well, you know, I think one of the best fan bases in the league. And you know, that provides energy when you're tired and. When you may not be playing your best, your, your fans can pick you up. So I think that's a big reason why we're so successful here.